Magandang araw mga kasipnayan. Welcome to Sir Ocnick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will help you understand and apply the distance formula in finding the distance given two points. The distance formula is derived from the Pythagorean theorem. Given the two points with coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, the distance between these points is given by the formula square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Let us have our first example. If m is at 4, negative 3, and n is at 2, 5, find mn. If we are going to consider point m as our first point, x sub 1 will be equal to 4, and y sub 1 will be equal to negative 3, while x sub 2 is equal to 2, and y sub 2 is equal to 5. Substituting the given values to the distance formula, we will arrive at the square root of quantity 2 minus 4 squared plus quantity 5 minus negative 3 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that will be equal to the square root of negative 2 squared plus 8 squared. Simplifying the exponents, we will arrive at square root of 4 plus 64, which is equal to square root of 68. 68 is factorable to 4 and 17. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, the distance is equal to 2 square root of 17. We therefore conclude that segment MN is equal to 2 square root of 17. If D is at 2, 2, and P is at 3, 1, find DP. If we are going to consider point D as our first point, X sub 1 will be equal to 2 and Y sub 1 will be equal to 2, while X sub 2 will be equal to 3 and Y sub 2 is equal to 1. Substituting the given values to the distance formula, we will arrive at square root of quantity 3 minus 2 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to d equals the square root of 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Since square root of 2 is, it, is at simplest form, we therefore conclude that dp is equal to square root of 2. If S is at negative 4, negative 7, and L is at negative 2, 6, find SL. Considering that point S is our first point, X sub 1 is equal to negative 4, and Y sub 1 is equal to negative 7, while X sub 2 is equal to negative 2, and y sub 2 is equal to 6. Substituting the given values to the distance formula, we will have the square root of quantity negative 2 minus negative 4 squared plus quantity 6 minus negative 7 squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to square root of 2 squared plus 13 squared. Simplifying the exponents, that is equal to square root of 4 plus 169, or simply square root of 173. Therefore, SL is equal to the square root of 173. If P is at negative 2, 6, and S is at 0, 4, find PS. If point P will be our first point, x sub 1 is equal to negative 2 
and y sub 1 is equal to 6. While x sub 2 is equal to 0, and y sub 2 is equal to 4. Substituting the given values to the distance formula, we will arrive at the square root of quantity 0 minus negative 2 squared plus quantity 4 minus 6 squared, which is equal to 2 squared plus negative 2 squared. Simplifying the exponents that is equal to square root of 4 plus 4 or simply square root of 8. 8 is factorable to 4 and 2. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. We therefore conclude that PS is equal to 2 square root of 2. Let us try to solve this problem. Show that the points A, 2, 2, B, 9, 1, and C, 3, negative 1, are vertices of a right triangle. Since we are going to prove that A, B, and C are vertices of a right triangle, we need to show that the lengths of the sides of the triangle satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. We will now compute the lengths of each side given the vertices. For segment AB, that is equal to the square root of 9 minus 2 squared plus quantity 1 minus 2 squared. Or simply, square root of 7 squared plus negative 1 squared. 7 squared is equal to 49 and negative 1 squared is equal to 1. 49 plus 1 is equal to 50. Therefore, AB is equal to square root of 50. For the length or measure of BC, that is equal to 3 minus 9 quantity squared plus negative 1 minus 1 quantity squared. Simplifying the operations inside the parentheses, that is equal to the square root of negative 6 squared plus negative 2 squared. Negative 6 squared is equal to 36, while negative 2 squared is equal to 4. 36 added to 4 is equal to the square root of 40. For the length of AC, that is equal to the square root of 3 minus 2 quantity squared plus quantity negative 1 minus 2 squared which is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus the square of negative 3. 1 squared is 1 and negative 3 squared is 9. That is 1 plus 9 and that is equal to the square root of 10. So we have AB is equal to the square root of 50, BC is equal to square root of 40, and AC is equal to square root of 10. Since the hypotenuse is the longest side, AB is the hypotenuse, and BC and AC are the legs of the triangle. Using the Pythagorean theorem, that will be equal to AB squared equals BC squared plus AC squared. By substitution, that is equal to square root of 50 squared equals square root of 40 squared plus square root of 10 squared. Simplifying the equation, that is equal to 50 equals 40 plus 10, which is equal to 50 equals 50. Since both sides are equal, That means that the measures satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, the points are vertices of a right triangle.
Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The distance formula is derived from the Pythagorean theorem, wherein given two points, the distance between these points is given by the formula D equals the square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Let us now check your knowledge. Find the perimeter and area of a rectangle with vertices 6, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 6, 2, and 1, 2. Do not forget to pause this video while you are solving this problem. Let us now discuss your work. The vertices of the given rectangle are 6, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 6, 2, and 1, 2. To solve for the length of MT using the distance formula, that is equal to the square root of 1 minus 6 squared plus quantity negative 1 minus negative 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of negative 5 squared plus 0 squared or square root of 25, which is equal to 5. For the length of TJ, that is equal to the square root of quantity 6 minus 1 squared plus 2 minus negative 1 squared. Or simply, square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared, and that is equal to square root of 34. For the length of JE, that is equal to the square root of 1 minus 6 squared plus quantity 2 minus 2 squared, which is equal to square root of negative 5 squared plus 0 squared, or simply square root of 25, which is equal to 5. For the length of ME, that is square root of quantity 1 minus 6 squared plus 2 minus quantity negative 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of negative 5 squared plus 3 squared, or simply 25 plus 9, that is equal to square root of 34. Let us now try to illustrate the figure in our problem. We have rectangle MEJT. MT measures 5, EJ measures 5 units, and ME and TJ measures square root of 34. Therefore, we may represent that the length is equal to square root of 34 and the width is equal to 5. Using the formula for the perimeter of the rectangle, which is equal to 2L plus 2 width, that is equal to 2 times the square root of 34 plus 2 times 5. And that is equal to 2 square root of 34 plus 10 units. That is the perimeter of the given rectangle. Solving for the area of the rectangle using the formula length times width, that is equal to square root of 34 times 5, which is equal to 5 square root of 34 square units. The area of the given rectangle is 5 square root of 34 square units. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, Hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.